Hello, welcome to the Advanced Authentication Demonstration video. This video demonstrates how to integrate Advanced Authentication with Microsoft Office 365 without using ADFS. This integration allows users to log into Office 365 by using their corporate password along with a second factor authenticator. During authentication, the specified password is validated by using the federated on-premises Active Directory. In this video, we will learn how to configure the SAML 2.0 event in Advanced Authentication How to obtain the signing certificate of Advanced Authentication How to enable directory synchronization in Azure Active Directory Connect How to federate your custom domain to achieve single sign-on to Office 365 and how to authenticate to Microsoft Office 365 with a single sign-on capability. Before you begin the integration, ensure to meet these prerequisites. Download the Office 365 SAML metadata from Microsoft Online Service. Install Microsoft Online Services Sign-in Assistant. Microsoft Azure Active Directory Module for Windows PowerShell. Azure AD Connect Tool. On a domain join computer. Now let us create a SAML 2.0 event. First, log into the Advanced Authentication Administration Portal with the Administrator Credentials. Click Events, New Event. Specify the name of the event. Select SAML as the event type. Select Preferred Chain to log into the event. In this example, I'm assigning a chain with LDAP password and email OTP. Click Choose File and select the Office 365 SAML Federation XML file to upload. Set Send Immutable ID, User Object ID, as Name ID to On. This option is required for this integration to work. Save the event. Now let us set the Identity Provider URL. Click Policies, Web Authentication. Set the Identity Provider URL with the domain name or IP address of your Advanced Authentication Server. And save the policy. In this example, I have also configured the mail sender policy that delivers the email OTP to users for authentication. Let's obtain the signing certificate of Advanced Authentication Server. Navigate to Server Options, Signing Certificate. Save the certificate content in a notepad file for further use. Ensure to add a custom domain to Office 365 to federate your Office 365 tenant with Advanced Authentication as the external identity provider. You cannot federate your on Microsoft.com domain, and, do not set the custom domain that you have added to Office 365 as the default domain. If you set the custom domain as default then you cannot federate it. In this example, I have used, cloudfarmfest.cf, as the custom domain. Let's enable directory synchronization in Azure AD Connect. Launch Azure Active Directory Connect on the domain join computer. In the Express Settings Wizard, User Sign-In tab. Select Do Not Configure as Sign-On Method. In the Identifying Users tab, select Object Git as a specific attribute for Source Anchor. Ensure to verify the Active Directory synchronization and activate the Office 365 licensing for unlicensed but synchronized users. To federate your custom domain for single sign-on, Launch Windows PowerShell on the Domain Join computer. Run the Connect MSOL service command to connect to your Office 365 tenant. Specify the tenant administrator credentials of your Office 365 domain. To verify whether your Office 365 domain is federated, run the command get msol domain with your domain name. Here the authentication type is managed. In case the authentication type of your Office 365 domain is set to federated, you must convert the authentication type to managed using the command. Now let us set the identity provider details in the PowerShell variables. Set $DOM equals fully qualified domain name. Set $URI value as per the syntax. Set $URL value as per the syntax. 
set dollar log out URL value as per the syntax. Set dollar protocol equals SAML P. Set dollar cert equals advanced authentication sign in certificate that you have saved earlier. To view the value set to each variable, run the get variable command. This is optional. Run the command, set msol domain authentication with defined variables, as shown. To convert your Office 365 domain from managed to federated authentication, run the command, get msol domain federation settings, as shown, to verify the federation settings of your Office 365 domain. Run the command, get msol domain with your domain name as shown, to verify the authentication status. Paul Jones, a user on the on premise Active Directory, has the email address updated in his profile. Therefore, the LDAP password and email OTP methods are enrolled automatically for his account in the Advanced Authentication Self Service Portal. Now, let us verify the single sign on to Microsoft Office 365, open a browser, and navigate to office.com. Now, let's see how Paul Jones authenticates to Microsoft Office 365. The page redirects to the Advanced Authentication, SAML login page. Paul must specify, his LDAP password and email OTP to authenticate to the Office 365 portal. After succeeding both the methods, Paul logs into the Office 365 portal successfully. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you.